Welcome along then. It is Friday. It is strategy guide time for the weekend's racing. Hopefully you have put in a brilliant qualifying performance. And I want to know what drivers you are running this weekend down below in the comments. So let me know. Are you using Joe? Or are you using Lando Norris or even both? Let me know. So this weekend, obviously, we have got the ESTAT GP event, as you would have already seen in my other strategy guide for qualifying with Typhoon, Zhou Guan Yu and Lando Norris, all 15% boosted. So definitely take advantage of that if you can. Now, we are here for the strategy, guys, the best boosts, the best strategies to follow to get your best result. If you don't have the boosts available that we have, make sure to go and have a look. Race start and cornering, you cannot go wrong with regardless of the circuit. Now, I am on holiday. I am away this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So if I do get the chance to upload, the chances are it will be in the old iPhone layout and it will maybe without any commentary, which will be music to most of your ears because you have to sick of listening to this voice week in, week out. I feel your pain. Imagine having to edit these videos and listening to myself back yeah, it's awful. But here we are. Let's get into your strategy guide. Let's go and take a look at what we are got this weekend for our trips around the world and our point scoring potential. So we start off with Zanvort. We had that just gone. It is seven laps. It is 66%. No extreme weather. We've got Hungary at 7%. We have got Montreal, Canada which is probably going to be up there for nearly a fastest lap attempt, I would imagine. I am going to check that, though, just before. But I think Montreal, potentially, after you come out of the pits, holds a very good chance of a lap time. Monza. Ugh, everybody's nightmare, Monza. We've got Monaco as well. Miami, Abu Dhabi and Jeddah, which could be a little bit hot, up to 36 degrees now. Not a lot of rain out there, which is interesting. It's just Zanvor and Hungary. So really, the eyes are going to be on everywhere else to see what we can pull together. But let's get into your strategy guide. Let's not keep you waiting. Make sure to watch the whole video. Hit the like button and let's get into your track maps. So welcome along to Zanvort then for your race one. 66% chance of rain. So we need to run through both of the strategies. And this is a circuit that is only a one stop. If you're doing more than one stops, you are going to suffer. So we've got the free soft, four medium, four medium, free soft as the strategy. That is your go-to strategy. You've got Merlion and Copper and Copper and Kawhi from P13 to P24. Very easy circuit. You want to conserve down the straight through them two middle sectors, as you can see, and attack in the red zones. You will make some big points, big possible chances at this circuit. Now, in the wet, in the wet even, we are running a four wet, three wet, and a three wet, four wet for both cars. And what it is, a lot of the AI are going to go five laps. They are going to do a five wet, two wet, and you'll get some that do a four wet, three wet. So we're making sure that you do not pit into traffic and giving you the cleanest race as you possibly can get. Now, remember, when you look at your tyres and your boosts, you will see the rain if it is coming in or if it is not. So make sure to adjust your strategy. If you are running a four medium free soft, you've selected your tyres and it says rain in one minute. Chances are you want to be on softs, not mediums, because you want to get the most performance out of your tyre. So make sure to go ahead and check your weather debriefing before you start the race. Up next is the very wide circuit of Hungary, the only track which is pretty much this big and sticks me over in this corner. Let's have a look, 7% chance of rain at Hungary. So again, we go through them all as we normally do. So 95 tire management really you want for running a four soft, four medium from the front, and you've got a five medium, three soft. You can take a tire management boost if you want to extend and get that four soft comfortably. From P13 to P24, we've got the four medium, four medium, and the five medium, three soft. That is because we don't expect you to have the tire management available. But if you go use something like Frost or Saar, 
then chances are you could potentially look at doing a four soft four medium you're just not going to be able to push a lot on that soft stint but you're still going to be pretty quick that is the bonus now in the wet expecting everybody to pit around lap five even some on lap six so we're doing a four wet four wet as the key strategy and we've got a free wet five wet from the back as well so really covering off all bases you're going to get most of the ai pit on lap five with some potentially stretching to lap six but ideally you want to get in earlier and don't leave it to chance use the 4-4 and if you've created a gap a 3-5 is even okay as well now two big places to conserve power unit on this track it is down the home straight and you can see through that middle sort of middle of sector one as you come up to where um massa had that famous crash that you can conserve your power unit So a tough place if you catch a really tough bot is Montreal and Canada. It's slightly a bit of a pain for trying to come through the field because it is a bit narrow. So it is harder to overtake. But especially like the hairpin is a really good place of overtaking a couple of cars. Now it's just a dry circuit this weekend. The weather is in our favour. So we just need to go through the top strategies. And it is a free soft, free soft, two soft, Merlion and Kawhi. And a four medium, four medium with Kawhi and Kuppa. Similar boost then as Kawhi and Kuppa on the driver starting P13 to P24 as well. Really tough track. You can use the race start to your advantage. Make sure to attack the hairpin every lap because you really do get some good overtaking opportunities. And you can see on blue in the right hand side that there's some big places for power unit. You can almost gain around 20% power unit back a lap just by conserving down them two straight so make sure to do it you need to take advantage of some good point scoring opportunities race four then is monza everyone's favorite of course monza very very tough track but hopefully you can get some luck, especially with that turn one. Now it is just dry, no extreme heat. So if you've got 90 plus tire management, you can run a free soft, free soft, two soft, Merlion and Kawhi, and the ever reliable four hard, four hard. Now from the back, we're doing the two soft, three medium, three medium, bit of an undercut because you don't want to be pitting when everyone else pits and that four hard, four hard as well. Street Shark and Copper or Kawhi and Copper from the back anything race start and cornering still really does help you even race start and speed does help you a little bit around this track there is three places to conserve as you can see no shocks where they are any piece of straight you can conserve on pretty much and that's what we have done some really good overtaking opportunities but let luck be with you in the turn one because monza can be very tough especially against a tough matchup So race number five is Monaco and for those who are actually listening this is where I'm going to tell you a little bit of a secret as we do each week and those that have just taken screenshots are not going to know. So as you can see P1 to P12 we have got a four medium four medium. You can run four soft four medium and you're going to run out in the, of tyre in that last sector but this track does not slow you down hardly anything for running out of tyres in that last sector. So the recommended strategy is a four soft, four medium, because then you're going to have a lot of power unit to go and attack with on that final stint. Now, I don't put that in week in, week out, because it's a bit of a secret. Not everybody knows about it, because obviously everyone sees running out of tyres, meaning they need to change their tyre strategy. Nope. Four soft, four medium is very good indeed. So we've also got the alternative, a five medium, three soft, and that can be exactly the same. You can run out of tyres in that last sector. Just make sure you push in and you will not lose time. Now, P13 to P24, we've got the free soft five hard and the four medium, four medium. Obviously, you can use four soft if you've got decent tire management in there as well. But the key thing for this is conserve down the straights or through the tunnel down to the chicane. Really conserve where you can. There's not a lot of tire 
performance difference between the soft, medium and hard. So it's not going to matter too much. You're really looking at durability on your tyres. But that's the secret. You can do softs four laps. Just you will run out towards the end. Race number six, we head off to Miami, which is only up to 29 degrees, so no real danger of some bad conditions at this one. So just dry. So we've got the two soft, two soft, three medium, and the three medium, two soft, two soft for both sets of drivers. Merlion, Kawhi, Kawhi, and Copper are your boost choices. Two massive places to conserve power unit as well down the straights. Now, the key thing with Miami is very simple it has got such a powerful race start you can almost go from p16 p18 to p3 and p4 by the second corner it is so powerful so make sure you are using a race start boost if you need it if you're not going to get a perfect one that is so make sure good race start if you've got it and smash into the first corner and you'll be surprised it is very overpowered for getting the job done early you can score big points here at Miami. Race seven, we head off to Abu Dhabi. We've got the three soft, three soft, two soft from the front and the four medium, four medium. Now, if you're a bit short on tires, you can run a four medium, four hard. You're going to have loads of power unit ready for that second stint. Or if you are comfortable in the race, a four medium, four medium is going to be absolutely fine you don't have to push too much if it's nice and easy for you starting from the back p13 p24 we've got the alternative strategies the two stops which is the two soft free medium free medium and the free medium free medium two softs now you can run free softs if your tire management is probably around about above 85 but we've got that in just because your tire management isn't as strong so make sure to double check be confident in your own driver's tire management by racing jewels, you learn a lot about your drivers and how much they can push and they can't. But Kawhi and Copper from the back, and you can see the two places to my right, but left as you look, we have got the home straight and the main straight to conserve your power unit. And to be honest, if you're watching this, it's to my right as you look. Can't even get me left and right. What does that tell you? And then we'll move on to Jeddah. So yes, the final track is Jeddah and it is the one where it could have up to 36 degrees. So if you are struggling on tyre management, you might want to move to a slower compound. So using a medium instead of softs, hard instead of mediums, if it is right up there at 36 degrees. Remember, your debrief screen before the race will tell you if you are imminent to any weather changes which are in the temperature factor. So from the front, two soft, two soft, two soft, one soft. You can also do a two soft, two soft, three hard if you don't fancy that. And we've got the opposite, the three hard, two soft, two soft. Merloin and Hook giving you good cornering, good race start on the hook as well. We've got Copper and Prince from the back, two soft, two soft, three hard. And one of my go-to strategies, a three hard, three hard, one soft. Not everybody's cup of tea, so you can do a three hard, two medium, two medium if you want to. Or even go softs if you've got plenty of tyre available. Copper and Prince from the back helping you defend. But that is your strategy guide done and dusted already at Jeddah. You can see Jeddah, two key places to conserve. Only really you can attack the first half of the lap and pretty much conserve the second half. So remember, I may not be releasing videos on Saturday or Sunday. They are going to be F1 manager videos if possible because obviously I bulk upload them from weeks ago so you'll have them to fill your as wf1 content if i can get a video out there i will it just may not have any commentary so make sure to hit the like button make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and i wish you the very luck as we approach the new season